To draw a polygon, we need to know the number of sides, the length of the sides, and the angle between two sides. For example, we have a triangle, a square, and a pentagon. We conclude that 360 divided by the number of sides is the exterior angle. So if we have the number of sides and length, we can draw it. Now let's convert this to code. We'll make two variables, sides and length. Now we'll change them to sliders and give them a maximum and minimum range. So our polygons are drawn perfectly on the screen. You can use whatever range you want, but I'm going to set length to 10 so it's not too small, and then to 30. And then sides to 3 because anything more than that isn't a polygon, and then to 18. Now let's get coding. So we are going to need to move length steps. So we draw the first side. And then to get ready for the second side, we're going to use our formula, which was turn 360 degrees divided by sides. To actually start the program, we need a when green flag click block and we want it to start in the middle so it looks good. So we'll say go to x0, y0, and then point in direction 90 because we want the first side to be straight. Now let me explain it to you. So we start in the middle and then we point in direction 90. But we haven't drawn the line yet. That will happen when we move length steps. And then we'll turn 360 divided by sides degrees. Okay, let's continue with our program. So we'll make a new block and call it draw shapes and we'll run without screen refresh then we'll put our code under draw shapes and we'll get out the pen extension and under define draw shapes we'll put pen down so it actually starts drawing and then under one click we'll say draw shapes before drawing the shapes we'll set pen size to three and let's just test it out. I'll set size to 6. And let's just set length to 30, so the max. And as you can see, it just drew the first line. We want it to draw all lines, so we'll say repeat sides times. So for this example here, size is 4, so it will draw 4 lines. So get out repeat block and say repeat sides times and put this around the code now let's test it out again as you can see it draws a hexagon and that looks pretty cool but it doesn't erase our previous attempts so what we need to do is place an erase all after draw shapes so now every time we click the green flag and change something it draws it and we're going to make a new variable called color and change it to a slider. Now we will just say set pen color to color under draw shapes. So I'm going to set color to 44 and it just changed colors. And that looks pretty good. And we're going to place a forever loop around draw shapes so we don't have to click the green flag every single time. And the set pen size is going to go to the one clicked and the rest of them are going to go in the forever loop. So as you can see now, we're changing the sides, the length, the color, and that just looks really cool. There is still one problem though. This forever loop is not optimal. In the next video, I'll show you how to make it more efficient. If you want to make patterns with these polygons, watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.